Every dive tells its own story. Jan Henning Steffen is making his first dive ever here at the Great Sea Reef in Fiji. The marine biologist is trying to come up with a new approach to ensure the long-term protection of the world's third biggest barrier reef. What's striking is that despite the great diversity of fish, the ones we've seen are small on average. The economically important species in particular are barely reaching reproductive age. That indicates that they're being caught or harpooned very young. That's a clear alarm signal. If it goes on like this, the Great Sea Reef won't exist in this form in 10 or 15 years. Overfishing is the biggest danger that the reef faces. Without adequate fish, the coral will die and the ecosystem will be thrown out of kilter. It's not the big factory ships that are fishing here. It's the many small fishermen who live on the coast. Fishermen like Joel Ivaca have to go further and further out to sea to make spearfishing pay. Why do I do this? Well, I left school when I was 11 years old. I've always lived on the coast. And I don't know any other way to earn a living. Jan Henning Steffen shows fishermen a map marking the old traditional conservation areas. Organizations such as the World Wide Fund for Nature had drawn in new zones where fishing was meant to be banned, but the experiment failed because of a lack of monitoring and political support. The fishermen have bowed to the pressure. The problem's not just being caused by fishermen from outside. In the face of the growing economic pressure in the village, the younger fishermen in particular no longer see the sense in respecting these zones. Every second family in this village in Mathawata region lives from the proceeds of fishing. It's difficult to find alternatives, in farming for example. One possible area of growth is tourism. Some women have started to grow cultured pearls, a business controlled by a few big global players. Jan Henning Steffen from the German organization GIZ thinks that their idea might have growth potential. But the women are having difficulty selling their pearls. Far too few tourists venture this far north. Most of all, Jan Henning Steffen needs the fishermen's backing. They're the ones who actually have to adopt the sustainable fishing practices. Time is short. Fiji has committed itself to protecting 30% of its ocean territory. If we collect data about coral or fishing in the reef, we're concerned with describing trends, with looking at whether new management approaches have worked and whether we're on the right path. 